All right. So as you can see, um, hopefully you're strapped in. By the way, um, I need to make a manual save because I accidentally uh, overwrote my save for this after I messed something up, and I had to redo it. I had to redo pretty much half the game just so I could get back here. So, anyways, use the peanut. Shoot the thing. Shoot your other peanut so that you go faster. Uh, Fat Yano is significantly slower. Uh, hey. Mash X and A. Hey. You want to hit this guy towards the barrels. You don't want to hit him straight forward because then he'll get stuck on the pillar. You don't want to hit him to... It's anywhere near the pillar because he'll just fall through the floor or he'll get stuck on the pillar. You want him to get, kind of get wedged right here like he is. Because as you can see, now you can get up here on the barrels. But we still need the key. So after you kill him, I'm going to grab the key right here. Bring it up here. Do a key boost onto these aforementioned barrels until so you're all the way up it. You should be stuck at the corner. Do a little wiggle. Get up here. Be careful. There is um, there is a hole over there, so don't get too close to that corner. You just walk along here. The one place we go out of bounds, you can do the dash. It'll pretty much bring you to the door. So be careful mashing X and escape here. Um, because if you mash escape, or no, not X and A rather, not X and escape. Because once you get to this dialogue, you don't want to be mashing X because then it'll just throw your key. So you want to kill this guy first, focus on him. Then after that guy gets close to you, put the, hit him once and then put the key in. You want the key to be put into the keyhole before you kill everyone, or else this key won't spawn. But if the key doesn't spawn, all you do is you go out the door, come back in, and it'll just be there. Knock it off the block, bring it along with you, and to the door we go. This is a pretty easy room. There's supposed to be a key behind that fence right there. Um, but because we brought a key into the room, there can only be one key in a room at a time, um, it does not spawn that one there. So instead we have to use the key to get out of the room to come back in the room to get the key. Because we need the key to break stuff. So again, don't mash escape or X too much. Um, or else you'll throw your key at the guy. Hit him twice there. Put your key there. Let him come towards you. Hit him once. Hit the knight. Um, so that you get this key. Hit him one more time. While you're hitting him, you can sometimes hit this knight um, to lower those blocks, but not always. Uh, so shoot that. It's only so much faster to shoot the peanuts afterwards. So in this room, we're going to use the key that we start with to do this. Technically, you can just leave the room right now, but we're going to get a key from this room so we can do more skips. Alright, so we're going to just right there. Go right back around the staircase. Once you get this dynamite, you want to throw it about the top half of that staircase. And just run along here. When you press this switch, you're going to be able to move during it, so you want to hold uh, down right and then um, hold down and dash off right near the end. Do this dash again to bring these pieces down, interact with the chest, and then get a peanut. And go for the door. So, for this room, all you want to do is pump this guy away once. <laughs> and hit the night piece. Look downwards, throw it here so that this um, key is against the ice blocks. And you do this quickly so the guy doesn't. So the guy gets stuck on the staircase. The timing is too horrible. And then just run. You just hold. Um, roughly a, a down right angle so that you can float up this. So when you're here you want to grab the key but let's say you mess it up and you like fall on the side without the key. All you have to do then is just push this ice block and you can grab the key and leave. So don't don't reset like I have because you fell on the side of the block. Um, and be silly. You can push either of these away. But anyways now we have our key and we're out of there. We're gonna run forward until we run against the wall, then hold upright, throw it about there. It doesn't matter as long as you don't throw it too late. Even if you throw it too late, it's fine. And then we're just gonna push it into the corner and then just hold roughly a down right angle, a little bit more right than down. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle to get up there. Grab the key, bring it with us, keep going. Nothing in this room, just keep going. Hey. So this guy, you wanna hit him into this corner like this. You don't want to hit him too far into the corner, because then he'll get stuck on the gate and stuff. But, um, you kind of, just just around here, if you see him, like, really wedged into the corner, you want to, to make sure to, to let him walk a little bit forward to get out of there. But let's say you mess it up, and he, you know, it's like, oh, I can't, can't get up. 
And after a few seconds, he doesn't boost you up here like this. Just bail on it. Go to this door. Leave this door. Hold left down. Throw it. Should throw roughly around here. Then you can go up here with your key. Grab the key, and then we keep going. For this hey. room, you only have to hit one of them. Just hit the first hey, guy to get hey. him out of your way. Technically, you don't even have to hit the first guy, but um, it's slower to avoid him. So just hit him and keep going. We're gonna use the key that we have. We're gonna go here. Um, get into this room. If you hug the top wall, I guess the right wall, um, you can avoid aggroing that guard for a pretty long time. Just keep pushing this TNT block towards the switch. Hey. Usually he doesn't aggro then, but even if he does, it doesn't matter. You can avoid getting hit. So, we're gonna grab this dynamite. We're gonna look left at what? Okay. Uh, that never happens. Hashtag never happened before. Um, hashtag never happened before. Um, up left, throw it at the dynamite box, get on the platform, go across, go to the door. So we've got a few more really fun skips to do at this point. We're gonna push this dynamite onto the pressure plate. Get ourselves a chili pepper. If you're doing so, make sure you don't go out that door, it'll reset everything, you have to do it over again, which I've done before. Um, just go up. Go up the stairs, and push this upwards. You don't have to do that again, just push it forward. Go to about here. Press Y so that it, or whatever your, uh, your lock on key is. I've been using the Xbox 360 button scheme, but you can tell which button it is for you by looking at my layout. And apologies about not mentioning that before. So you need to get about here, roughly two blocks away, and do Y to lock on, and then press B, shoot it. Should blow up the one block you need. Press X, stand about here. Oh, not about there, a little bit further. <laughs> and then you just press X and grab it while it goes by. So if you walk to the other side of the key, you can actually like clip through the door a little bit, which saves like frames. <laughs> It's not that important, but it looks funny. So anyways, put the key in there, and we we don't have a key with us. We can't bring it, so it's fine. So, go through this dialogue. You don't have to fight this guy. He just talks to you and tells you where the executioner is. Just keep going. Alright, this is the big puzzle you have to do the entire run, so pay attention. Get the water. Use the water to... Um, don't do it quite that way, because he'll probably mess it up. Just look at it normally. Interact with it so that this moves up. After you do that, you get chili, because we need to set it back on fire. Use set chili to make that hot again. Use the peanut to move this down so that you can push this more easily. Push it to the furthest you can to the left. Stand the pressure plate, lock onto it by pressing Y. The second it falls down, you can shoot peanut to bring this down, and then you do like a grazing sort of right angle uh, dash against it so that the key falls down. You can also just keep hitting it until it falls down, but sometimes it'll get jammed a little bit there. But you can always still get it unstuck. Then we just use our key. Don't glitch yourself into the door. Like if you interact with the, if you run towards the gate and you interact with it from here, you'll get stuck in the gate and then you'll launch that way and it'll be really bad. So anyways. Um, so this looks really simple. You just get the peanut and you shoot that. But what if you could just, you know, just push a block through a wall? There's no glitch. There's no trick. You just push it. There's nothing special. Speaking of, uh, the complete opposite of that, um, this room has one of the harder skips, timing-wise, in the game, and I will suggest doing this as Fat Yano because he moves slower, which seems weird. Like, it would seem like you would need more speed. But anyways, so, if you're gonna do this skip, how about I, how about I suggest this? Let me, let me do this over again. Let me load this up. So, what I would suggest doing on your first go through, push this block closer. Push this block closer. Then, what you're gonna do, it's been a little bit so I might do something silly, but, so you wanna get on this platform, shoot this, shoot both your peanuts. Grab this chili. Then you're gonna try this skip. Um, and if you fail this skip, then you'll just fall down, stand roughly next to this. Um, 
So when you hold Y in this game, it gives you free directional movement of where you want to face. So you don't just lock onto something. So you can just hold Y and be like, I want to look here or something. So you're going to do this here. Press Y. Face yourself that way. Shoot towards it. It'll blow up this block. You're going to push this block um, all the way up to here. You're going to dash against this. And it'll push the pressure plate down, and you'll be able to leave. Now let's go over the skip. So I'm just going to show this like the fastest way that you would go for it if you're not trying to do like a hybrid, I guess, of it. Grab the peanuts immediately from the beginning. Shoot this. Shoot one peanut. I will suggest doing this as Fat Yana, so I'll show it as Fat Yana. I'll try doing it without being uh, stuffed with peanuts, but we'll see. So you're going to be holding. This is a problem for me. Is my D-pad is really bad. Like you'll probably notice it. Like. I'll be holding down right, and it'll be holding right like that. It'll kind of flicker. Um, so you want to hold down right, and then, you know, right when Yano's feet are just about to fall off. Like, just when he's about to fall off, when his back legs are touching the, the stone, that's when you do a dash, and you still hold that angle. All right, so, down right, and dash, and you go over. So we'll do it as normally on now, hopefully. We'll see. It's a little bit faster to do it as him, obviously, since he's just faster, but it's just easier to do the skip uh, when you're fat because the timing for the the dash is a lot more open. But yeah, that's just how it looks, either way. So then you go across to here. So, it's a pretty important skip here. Shoot one peanut towards that to make this go down. Then you're gonna turn towards this and shoot two peanuts and go over it before it goes down. If you mess that up, you'll have to use a dynamite and hit that, but you don't need to do that. So, we'll just keep going. Anyways, the sax to bring these down, and we are going to the executioner fight, which will not be a separate video. We'll just do it all together. Though it probably should be a separate video, um, but it will not be. I'll just manually save here. So, I will show you the normal way of doing the first phase, and then like the, the new way of doing it that's a lot more dangerous. So, mash X and A to get through that dialogue. Bait out a hit from him. Stand on the stone, and then hold upright. That was not upright. Mash X and A. Bait out a hit. Throw it at him. You can stand here so that he runs into it and slow. Do the same thing again. Blow up again. Then just throw it downwards towards him and he will get it hit. And then you can just do the second phase. All right, so let's do the harder way. There's uh, dynamite duping in this game. If you grab a dynamite right as it's about to explode, you will take the damage from the dynamite, he'll take the damage from the dynamite, but you'll dupe the dynamite and you'll be able to use it again. Um, the timing is very important audio wise because let me, let me just, actually I can't show it now, but. I'll show you how you can tell when the dynamite's about to explode. It beeps four times, I believe. One. Four. There you go. So you can kind of hear it really quietly. I was trying not to talk during it, but it was like a boop. It's like a beeping sound. Um, but anyways, we're gonna listen for that. And Rai's about to do the fourth beep. Oops, that was three beeps. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to talk and do this at the same time, which is kind of important, but let me not get hit. <laughs> so, bait out a hit. Grab this. Right is about to explode, you grab it, and then you duplicate the dynamite. Sometimes it gets huge. That doesn't always happen. Uh, but then you just do the fight normally. But now you've duped the dynamite which is a little bit faster. So, on the second phase, you want to grab one of the armor and then go behind him so that he's facing the other armor. So now he's going to walk you towards the other armor. He's going to hit you once, grab it, hit you twice, or not. Let me let me redo that so that I can actually show the correct way of doing it. If you do mess that up, you can just go underneath the little silhouettes of where the daggers are falling. It'll be fine. There we go. Dynamite dupe. A normal size dynamite dupe. If you match this game really wildly, sometimes you get big dynamites from that as well. But anyways, so. Grab the armor, face him towards the other bit of armor, so he runs towards it. He's gonna go one hit. 
That didn't work. But you want to dash as he's so. Sorry, I have to explain now. If you do that twice, if you run right into him and he hits the armor, or he throws the dagger up and hits the armor, um, if you do that twice in a row, so the first two throws, you you uh, do that. You should dash when he does the third throw. Like right as he's releasing the third dagger up, you should do a headbutt. Um, if you don't, you should do the dash when he's about to stand, like as he's standing up. Because if you do that, you have movement during this cutscene and you can grab hearts from that skull, which is incredibly important because you're gonna take a lot of damage. No matter what you do, you're gonna take a lot of damage during this phase. So, you wanna get near this chili pepper? Press B, so you get it. Set this in fire. Sometimes you'll be within range of it and then he'll move you away from it with his uh, crossbow and you won't register, which is really frustrating. So you can uh, dash at the end of this, it's not really important, but lets you spin during the little cutscene, which is very important, of course. And then it's just X and A mashing at this point. But I'm gonna run through the fight one more time, explain it as I go so that um, nothing is too grave an area. So, very beginning, dash into it, mash X and A, Bait out a hit. Whoops, sorry. The timing was weird because the spikes were up. So mash X and A. You'll dash towards him. Bait out a hit. Go right towards the dynamite. Go on the stone. Up. Um. I'm sorry, I was trying to. It's trying to explain things, but I also had to listen for the dynamite. So X and A. Dash forward. Bait out a hit. Grab the dynamite. Go on the stones. Upright. Again, I'm like trying to explain it and. <laughs> Listen for the dynamite, it's not working. I'm picking it up a beep early. I don't know why. There we go. Keep the dynamite. Sometimes it's huge, which is awesome. So the third dynamite at him. If you mess up the dupe, just keep doing the fight normally. It's fine. So move him so he's going towards the armor. Sometimes he'll start floating up because of it. So when he stands up, that's when you dash. Sometimes you only get one heart from that. It's fine. You can survive with one uh, extra heart. So if you ever need health, just go towards that other skull. All right, and then you just start setting him on fire. That's what happens sometimes. Like I was within range, and right as I was about to hit him with it, he knocked me further back. on fire. You can dash right as he's about to stop and then do some spinning while you're waiting. Mash X and A for, through all this horrendous dialogue. Unfortunately you can't natively bind mouse wheel to uh, the uh, keys for for skipping dialogue. You can do it outside of it but that's not really a that's kind of a gray area. So anyways, leave the dungeon afterwards. It's pretty simple. This is the way that you would go to the dungeon for the uh, early queen's dungeon. Grab the peanuts. Go up here, turn around, shoot them. It's pretty forgiving. Shoot both the peanuts while you're waiting so that you go a little bit faster. So, at the once you load into here, you can very quickly press X to interact with that and you can move instead of having to wait. Like, usually there's the cutscene, you're locked to not be able to move. But right after... Um, right after going into your room, you can freely do that. They don't want to mash because then you'll just press it twice and it'll look really silly. So talk to this guy. Um, be careful not to mash escape. Or not escape, X. I've been doing that a lot, haven't I? Be careful not to mash X or you'll just keep talking to him. So just mash A during the, the dialogue and then just leave here. You have to talk to him. If you don't talk to him, the ending will not happen. <laughs> And you'll be really sad because you ruined a PB because you forgot to talk to him. Dash in the bridge, go up here, dash along this gap, into the loading zone we go, resist the urge to grab the chicken, go this way, slightly avoid the dude, we're pretty much at the end now, this will be the longest of the videos, but it's alright. So you can either dash here and then keep going or what I prefer doing just because I don't want to fall into the edge any of these times is just fall off and then 
hug that side. Whoa, let's not fall off. <laughs> um, don't dash onto this platform, because then you'll have movement, and you know, I don't think you'll be able to mash during the, the dialogue, and then you can soft lock your game, which I've had happen before. So anyways, just walk onto it. It's gonna rise up. This will be your final bit of mashing for the run. So like, do some do some hand stretches, work your wrist out a little bit, do some do some stuff. You know, warm your hands up, get ready to go. Stretch a little bit. You know, do all you gotta do. Do you? And then you're just gonna mash X and A. And when it says go out and play, and the dialogue's finished, that's when you split. So you would split there where it says go out and play. And that is Yano and the Celestial Elephants. No early Queen's Dungeon tutorial. Um, hopefully that was helpful. If not, I'm sorry, I tried. <laughs> um, we'll be updating this as stuff is found and redoing these videos. Um, probably all these videos won't just be me as the strats get improved and people make their own tutorials for certain sections. Um, those will be added as well. Um, but feel free to contact any of the runners, um, or leave a comment here, or anything like that. Message me on Twitter, message me on Discord, message me on Steam. If you're having any problems with any of this stuff, especially like Executioner or, or anything along those lines, do not hesitate to contact me and ask questions, because I would love for more people to get into this game and find new skips and enjoy themselves. And thank you for watching! Hopefully this was helpful for you guys.